So let's start with an easy one. What's your name? Oh, they get, they get harder, huh? <laughs> so I am Vivian Snyder. What has been your favorite Beverly Hanks memory so far? Probably when Neil did, oh, I can't remember. I think it's called St. Baldwin's. And we were at the Asheville Tourist Game. There was a child with cancer, and he was up and he shaved his head. And I don't know if that was my favorite moment or Amy's reaction to when he shaved his head was my favorite moment. <laughs> but um, I've loved Beverly Hanks outside of real estate. How do you stay positive? Um, because life has taught me a lot of lessons and I've had a lot of peaks and I've had a lot of valleys and I've learned that they don't define me. So just the experience of knowing that we're going to get through this. Which of your skill sets as an agent are you most confident in? Mindset, without a doubt, that I know that that is what starts everything. Did you have a business goal for this past year? Um, I've had a business goal for the last 20 years. So. Did you meet your goal? I did. If you had a hashtag, what would it be? Tell me what a hashtag is and we'll discuss that. <laughs> if you had a social media following or phrase, what would it be? Keep the fun and dysfunctional. What was your first concert? Oh, wow. John Denver. Ooh, what's your favorite John Denver song? Um, Rocky Mountain High. What music are you listening to lately? I just listen to Christian music. What was your first car? First car was a blue and white Monte Carlo, a gift from my grandfather. What is your dream car? Uh, the dream car is named Coco, and she's sitting in the garage, and she's a convertible. She's also known as Sports Barbie. So when I'm in it, I pretend like I don't work, I don't have children, it's just me, me and the world. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Morning. Do you have any pet peeves? Probably being late. We'll go for a clean one, being late. Are you a texter or a caller? I am a caller, but have learned to text. Who's the last person you called? Stephanie Buss. How did you start your day today? Um, started at waking up, um, strengthening up in the living room because we're getting hardwood floors in the bedroom, but coffee and then some quiet time by the fireplace and then getting the kids ready. Do you have a large family? Oh, yes. <laughs> I win. 26 uh, in our immediate family. What do your grandkids call you? Nana. Do you have any animals you would consider family? Are you family? Yes, I will say Bronco is family. Do you like to bake? No, I like to cook. What's your favorite meal to cook? Uh, Italian. Do you have any fun travel stories? Um, well, I'm getting ready. We just talked about it. In June is my 20th anniversary, and we're taking the whole gang out to Arizona, only because that's where we could find an eight-bedroom VRBO. Have you ever been on a mechanical bull? Is this a setup? <laughs> It's just a question. No, it is not just a question. So <laughs> yes, uh, for <laughs> for Christmas this year, for Christmas I try to do something crazy every year just to put a memory in for the grandchildren. So this year it was a mechanical bull. Um, against the advice of my physical therapist, I did sit on it, but I didn't ride it. <laughs> if you could have lunch with any member of the current Beverly Hanks family, who would it be? All of them. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'll. I'll go for Neil because it's always interesting that as we're living in today, to pick his brain and see what he's planning for us in the future. Has COVID changed your hobbies in any way? COVID has changed my life um, in so many ways. Unfortunately, I came down with it this past September and it went to my joints. I was very lucky it didn't go to my lungs, but um, just learning uh, what it's like to have a home office where I used to get up and go to the office and now it's everything is home. It's also lonely. You miss hanging with people. So, Which do you find most gratifying, buyers or sellers? I find sellers more gratifying. Why? Okay, because sellers you get to perform. You know exactly what you're going to do and you get to listen and individualize things. Buyers in this market is like putting out fires. You know it's not their dream house, but it's a house. So um, sellers are more satisfying. If you could go back in time, what advice would you give yourself in your first year of real estate? Work smarter rather than harder. Do you have any funny real estate stories? Yes, and I suggest you buy the book, 21 Years in Real Estate, You Can't Make This Stuff Up. <laughs> what do you have planned for today? 
Um, yeah, in real estate, you never know what you have planned. So uh, just to be prepared for whatever phone rings. What's your favorite TV show? TV show is unfortunately Food Network and Beat Bobby Flay. Are you a picky eater? No. Where do you consider home? Um, right where we're sitting. I, I always say, you know, home is where your heart is. So, right here for now. Do you have a favorite room in your home? Uh, two, the kitchen and the treehouse, which we're in. If you could make a documentary on any topic, what would it be? My husband. What actor would you choose to play you in a movie? Okay, when I was young, people would say Brooke Shields looked like me, but she's boring at this point. So, um, I don't, I don't watch TV, so I don't know an actress. What's your favorite non-work activity? Being at the lake, Lake Norman, being on the boat chasing the sun and pulling grandkids behind us. Which hobby would you like to spend more time with? Traveling. Do you have a favorite local nonprofit? Uh, several of them, and we don't have time, but um, we're involved with the Progressive Education Program, and it is actually the Merrill Snyder Memorial Library. So we do a lot of stuff behind the scenes for PEP, um, so that's probably top right now. What are you grateful for? Everything. I'm grateful for being able to laugh through the pain um, and grateful for knowing that there's beauty in every situation. Do you have any words of wisdom, a quote, or a phrase that you like to use? Uh, my husband's favorite expression is, do me a favor, touch someone's life and make it a little bit better. So we like to tell our grandchildren and our children and each other that every day. Why Beverly Hanks? The culture is truly a family, because I don't know any other company or business where you really are competitors, if you think about it, because you're commission compensated, but yet they have your back um, and have it beautifully. So I love the way we take care of each other.